Hey, it's Andy with IT Supplies. Today, we're gonna share more information about the soon to ship Epson SureColor S9170. And today's information might be the most important yet for many of you. We've covered the features and the costs of the S9170 in past videos, but today we'll look at the print speeds. Let's see how fast Epson's newest eco solvent printer will go. Buckle up, buttercup. If you've watched our videos covering the S9170, you already know the most exciting features. It has a massive gamut thanks to its 11 color ink set, including a new green ink and an optional white ink. It is the first ever solvent printer with a user replaceable print head. It features Epson's new sleek and low profile body style. It uses the latest 2.6 inch TFP print head. These new advancements and features are enough to get anyone excited, but behind all the shiny new bells and whistles, we still need to look at the nuts and bolts of the S9170 to know if it will be the right printer for your business. For most, that comes down to the costs and the speeds. We've done a video on the printer, ink, and service costs, and now we'll turn to the print speeds. First, let's look at the spec sheet and see what Epson has told us to expect from the different print modes. Then we'll compare these speeds to the existing S80 models that many of you have. And then we'll look at some of the first ever printed samples in three comparison print modes. Epson expects the S9170 to have a max print speed of 1129 square feet per hour. This is what they call draft mode and is only to be used for jobs that will be viewed from a distance and only when color density isn't important. Almost nobody uses draft modes, but they sound great on a spec sheet. The next mode is a speed mode for high production banners and it comes in at 640 square feet per hour. This is going to be an extremely sellable mode for banners and we have a sample of this print mode that we'll show in a minute. After this, we get to a production mode, which we think will be the sweet spot for most applications on the S9170. This is a six pass mode and comes in at 376 square feet per hour. And the last mode we'll look at is the quality mode. This is an eight pass mode and it has a print speed of 215 square feet per hour. There are other slower modes designed for max quality, white ink, or backlit film density, but we think the four, six, and eight pass modes will be used by 99% of all S9170 users. Before we look at some print samples, let's look at how these print speeds compare to the Epson S80 printers that many of you are using today. The S80 has been Epson's flagship solvent printer for nine years and offers the highest print quality and gamut of any eco solvent printer in the market. It uses nine ink colors that are jetted through two staggered print heads. Each head is one inch tall, so staggered on top of each other, the total swath across the printer at each pass is two inches. As we mentioned, the Epson S9170 uses a single larger print head that is 2.6 inches tall. This matters for two reasons. Obviously, bigger is better, so 2.6 inches versus two inches means a larger swath with every pass across the printer. And equally important is the precision and banding reduction that Epson can achieve with a single head to keep in alignment versus having two staggered heads that need to fire in unison. So how does the print speed of the new Epson S9170 compare to the speed of the current S80? The current S80 will print four pass at 340 square feet per hour, six pass at 195 square feet per hour, and eight pass at 140 square feet per hour. The brand new S9170 will print four pass at 640 square feet per hour, six pass at 376 square feet per hour, and eight pass at 215 square feet per hour. It's not hard to see that the S9170 is significantly, significantly faster than the Epson S80. But what does the print quality look like in these mo modes? Well, I'm glad you asked. We have three samples printed on the Epson GS canvas at four, six, and eight pass modes. We're going to pan across the different samples to try to let you compare these for yourself. I know that these are gonna be hard to see on video, so I'll give you my two cents here in person. The eight pass is the most dense and vibrant, but it is honestly really hard to tell the difference between eight and six pass if you aren't really looking for it. Four pass has a perceptible step down in ink density, and if you're really looking, you might be able to find a little bit of banding in the dark solid areas. But honestly, if you ship me this canvas and I never saw the other two, I would be happy to put this up on my wall. To think that this was printed at four pass and 640 square feet per hour is pretty insane. 
These print speeds should have everyone pretty excited. We're taking pre-orders now, so if you want to get one of the first printers Epson ships, please reach out now. We can't wait to have our demo printer delivered and begin printing more sample files to get a better idea of what modes are capable for which applications. If you want to see videos like this as we anticipate the new Epson S9170, please subscribe to our channel to be notified when new videos are posted. If you like this video, give us a like and leave us a comment below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.